matter how great the pressure of work, the flag must be raised with the ceremony which is its due. Admiral Byrd declares Little America the Fourth in full operating commission. The Admiral and the party ride weasels 12 miles south to visit his earliest camp, marked by the radio towers. Little America the First, now 40 feet under the snows of 17 years. And above it, Little America the Second, 25 feet under the snows fallen since 1935. Captain Boyd, United States Marine Corps, ties on a safety line. While Admiral Byrd and three veterans of his previous expeditions watch, Boyd inches his carcass down the old ventilating hatch. It stood 20 feet in the air when it was put up 12 years before. He pokes a stick up as a marker for the main hatch. Now all hands, the Admiral included, will have a chance to go look-see. Below, the old-timers find a lantern that lights at once and all manner of other gear. For here in Antarctica, there is no decay, no rust, no dust, not even germs. Fruits, vegetables, meats, all good after 17 years. Small wonder Bird preaches that one day, Antarctica may be the world's storehouse to keep the seven years surplus for the seven lean years. Bird, bringing with him the old corn cob he'd forgotten in 1930, comes up last. He meets heavy going, but he makes it the hard way and seems to like it. 